The basil gimlet was on the opening menu of a bar called Rye in San Francisco in the early 2000s. And according to Robert Simonson in his wonderful new book, Modern Classic Cocktails, link below, the cocktail was created by bar owner Greg Lindgren when his wife found a similar drink, although with a vodka base on the menu of a Boston restaurant called Via Mata. She loved it so much, she reported the cocktail back to him, and then he got some ideas, swapped the vodka for gin, and the rest is history. So first things first, we're gonna grab our tin, half an ounce of simple syrup, straight into the tin there. We're gonna add five of our six basil leaves here. We're gonna give this a light muddle, just to kind of release the aromatics here. Then we're gonna do one ounce of lime juice and two ounces of gin. We're using Junipero gin. This is a San Francisco cocktail and the original was made with this gin. Grab a coupe, give it a nice hard eight to 10 second shake. And then we're going to double strain this into our glass like so. Just garnish with a basil leaf like that. So there it is, the basil gimlet. I think I'm going to taste it first and then garnish it for the thumb. All right, cheers. I mean, it's like botanical lime candy, very lime forward, and just that little bit of uh, simple syrup to balance it out. And then you have those nice botanicals of the Junipero. So the Junipero has a really specific kind of flavor. It is intensely juniper forward and it has citrus in it as well, which is very close to a lot of different gins I know, but the Juniper is more intense than something like a London Dry. Now, if you're gonna switch out the gin because you can't find Junipero, that's completely fine. Basically any gin is gonna go really well in this cocktail. Even ones with more savory notes in it, with those kind of savory botanicals, are gonna do uh, just fine in this cocktail as well. So just pick whatever your favorite gin is, and you can absolutely use that in this drink. This drink is incredibly satisfying, but it's not super complex. It's three flavors, and they just pair really well, and they're perfectly balanced. Well, here we go. Maybe I should garnish it first, right, before we end it. So there it is, the basil gimlet.